Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are doing great. So as the topic says, today I will be giving you a general idea about all the departments in aviation industry. You know guys, generally when we ask people what you know about aviation industry, uh, they name pilots, they name cabin crew, they name some airlines and you know that only pilot and cabin crew ka life is very good. Hai and they get really good pay, which is a big no-no. In aviation industry, we have many jobs where the, uh, you know, where the pay is really good and the job is also very challenging. So, you know, the main motto uh, of this video is to provide information to everyone who want to know about the different departments in aviation industry, also the students or individuals who want to make a career and are struggling to get information about this department. Uh, because, you know, online you don't have a proper source who will uh, explain you the different departments of course you know uh, we cannot sum the big industry into the seven to eight minutes of video but uh, we have tried to cover all the main departments and don't worry we will be making many videos in future when in which we will be explaining in detail all the departments and we'll be explaining the criteria to get in the eligibility the license needed the course you need to do and the job roles in that particular department so without any further delay let's start okay so for better understanding, we have divided aviation into two main subdivisions that is the airport and airlines. So if you want to join ground staff in the airport, mein, we have the land side and then we have the air side. So for uh, land side, we have the first department is the commercial department or you can say the customer service department. Under that we have the ticketing, like suppose if you want to book ticket or if you want to cancel ticket or if you want to change the date hai, and all. Second one is the check-in. So basically, when you enter the airport, hai, first you need to do is check-in. So there are these lovely people uh, at the check-in desk who you very well and greet karte hai. Then they ask for some ID proof and then they ask you for ticket. They check your bag weight and then they give you your boarding pass. Uh, also, they do the seat allocation and all that. Okay, and then they guide you with the boarding time, the boarding gate, etc, etc. Then we have the flow walking people. As a host, I think you can be confused in such a big airport or if you are a first time traveler, hai, you don't know where to go so there are these people who are always there to assist you like you go here, go there, do this, do that and all that There are also many people to assist the old age people or the physically challenged people you know or if someone is traveling with a small child etc etc then we have the boarding department like when you board, karte hai, they check your boarding pass then boarding announcements hote hai and all that We have the arrivals department like when you arrive at a destination pe arrive karte hai, they check if the, you have got your bag like if all passengers have got their bags and everything is going smoothly and all that So without, uh, so we'll move to the next department Okay, so the second department is the security department. Let me tell you, the security for airline is different and airport is different. And it is one of the most important department. Now important because, you know, a lot of illegal activities happen when the passengers are traveling. And a single mistake can cost to the life of 200, 300 or 400 passengers traveling in the aircraft. Also, you know, it's not like that when the uh, aircraft is flying in the sky, if anything goes wrong, it can park on the side. It's not like that. So, you know, you need to ensure that every passenger traveling, the baggage they're carrying is completely safe, the cargo that is being transported is completely safe, the aircraft is completely safe. And for that, uh, proper screening is done for baggage, all uh, passengers have to pa uh, pass through the security checks and screening all cargo is screened everything that is being transported is screened properly following the standards set by the regulatory bodies now moving to the second main uh, division of airport that is the air side operations the first one we have on list is the flight dispatcher so flight dispatcher provides assistance for planning of flight paths then checking the performance of aircraft, fueling, uh, loading and unloading of uh, bags, cargo and you know for ensuring that the weight of an aircraft is balanced. Then uh, taking in consideration uh, and forecasting the thunderstorm or turbulence, taking in consideration the various airspace restrictions, the airport conditions etc. Next one we have on list is the turnaround coordinator. Now. Uh, you know, it's not that when an aircraft lands at a particular airport, it can take 30 to 40 minutes or an hour for loading and unloading and aram se sab karke, it takes uh, and it goes by. So it has uh, a turnaround time 
because you know every minute uh, the aircraft spends at the airport they have to pay a charge to it so the, uh, the airlines have mostly a turnaround time of 15 to 20 minutes and there is this turnaround coordinator who ensures and uh, ensures that you know everything is done properly in this turnaround time only and does proper supervision so yeah that's where is the turnaround coordinator comes in picture then we have the loading and unloading of uh, baggage like uh, load uh, unloading of bags from the uh, aircraft and taking it to the airport then bringing the other bags from the airport and loading it to the aircraft then we have the cargo department uh, it is a very interesting department and my personal favorite we have a lot to speak uh, but for now you can understand is there are various types of goods which need to be transported and uh, that too in bulk so proper care is required and that's where the cargo department comes in picture then we have the maintenance department so there are many checks which have to be done before the flight takes off or uh, after the flight and also periodic checks like A check, B check, C check, 3C check, D check so for that we have the maintenance department then we have the fueling department so uh, before any flight takes off there is this instruction given and then according to that uh, fueling is done okay and then we have is the marshalling department so you must be seeing nowadays a lot of viral videos of the marshalling people dancing and all and showing the you know the signs to the pilot but um, the main uh, you know the main why well, i would say like uh, the main role is to provide them uh, with directions to the gate with those sticks that they have in their hand. As I mentioned before, for better understanding, I have divided the aviation into two main subdivisions, the airports and the airlines. So airport part is done. Now coming to the airlines part, if you want to join an airline, you can be a pilot or you can be a cabin crew. Uh, you can also join as a flight dispatcher. Now you know some airlines have uh, great operations to a particular destination so they like to have their own uh, customer service or uh, check-in staff or, or you know the boarding staff so you can join for those departments also. They have their own security department as well so you can join for security department. Some airlines have their own cargo department so you can join for the cargo department also. Now before ending the video I would like to add one more thing uh, if any one of you is uh, dreaming of being a pilot we have CPL and RTR classes going on so if you want to register go to the website which is mentioned in the description below uh, and get registered for it and coming back to the video I hope this information uh, will help you and I hope that you also like the video so uh, please uh, like share and subscribe to our channel bye